Naftopidil is safe and effective for the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia and hypertension. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is one of the most common conditions in older men that causes a weak urine stream or obstructs the urine outflow. Urinary tract infections, prostatitis, narrowing of the urethra, kidney or bladder stones, problems in the parasympathetic nerves that control the bladder are the potential causes of urinary symptoms. Benign prostatic hyperplasia can be treated with medications and minimally invasive methods. This study was performed to prove the safety and clinical efficacy of naftopidil in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia. The main objective of the study was to prove the safety and efficacy of naftopidil in patients with benign prostatic hyperplasia. The study was prospective open-label study in which the sample size was 118 patients. The inclusion criteria for the study were male ambulatory patients above 50 years of age, with lower urinary tract symptoms, whose total international prostate symptom score is greater than 8. The exclusion criteria of the study were the patients with allergic reaction to alpha-1 androgen receptor antagonists, history of prostate-related surgery, orthostatic hypotension, prostate-specific antigen greater than 10 nanograms per milliliter, severe hepatic disorders, a history of bladder stones or recurrent urinary tract infections, patients who were on anticholinergic or cholinergic medication, patients who had taken alpha-1 androgen antagonists during past one month and patients receiving or planning to take alpha receptor agonists or beta receptor antagonists. Overall, there were 118 patients who met the inclusion criteria. The patients were randomly divided into two groups. 90 patients with diastolic blood pressure, less than 90 milliliters of mercury, and 28 patients with diastolic blood pressure, greater than or equal to 90, were given a daily dose of naftopidil. The primary endpoint of the study was the changes in the baseline, that is, systolic or diastolic blood pressure, and total international prostate symptoms gore at 4 and 12 weeks. The secondary outcomes of the study were adverse events, improvement in international prostate symptoms gore, quality of life score, and maximum urinary flow rate. The overall mean systolic blood pressure was decreased by 18.7 mg of mercury and 18.3 mg of mercury in 50 and 75 mg hypertensive group, respectively. The overall mean diastolic pressure was decreased by 17.5 in hypertensive 50 mg group and 14.7 in hypertensive 75 mg group. The final results confirmed that naftopidil is safe and effective treatment option in controlling optimal blood pressure in patients with benign prostatic hyperplasia.